Welcome. Welcome, 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 um, beer fan TVers. Um, welcome. Um, this video is a bit different. Obviously, I'm in front of the camera rather than just the hands. And um, this, this video is about the Phillips Perfect Draft. I've been owned it for a certain period of time. A quick video around the actual machine, what it's like owning it for like for as long as I have. Some people might be watching this video because they're thinking about buying one um, and upgrading, and people want to find out as much as they possibly can before they make that leap because it's not cheap. And there's a lot of them going second hand at the moment at quite high values. So anyway, this is about um, the Phillips Perfect Drafts. Um, I'm going to be your host. I'm going to take you through the Phillips Perfect Draft process, what I've liked, what I've disliked. Um, and goods and bads, and then you can make your own informed decision about which way you want to go if you're going to buy this, the blade, or whatever it might potentially be. But more importantly, listen, look, if you uh, stick around, put up a pew, get yourself a, a beer, join me, let's do it, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, while we're here, let's. Uh, well, I've got the machine now. I can review and pour a beer at the same time. Oh, it's not drinking and driving, ladies and gentlemen, so it's allowed. Um, okay, so first off, big things are the beer. Um, you generally tend to find with these beer, with the different machines that you buy, the beers are different. I really like the fact, at the time when I purchased this, it was either really the sub had 30 to 40 different kegs, this had 30 to 40 different kegs and the sub had about five, and sorry, and the blade had about five. It's changed massively now and I genuinely do think that the, the blade now is getting more and more beer and I think that although they're not the same beers, I always think that you buy the machine that's, that, that, that suits the beers that you like to drink. So if you're a Heineken drinker, get the sub or the blade. If you're a Stella drinker, get one of these because you can't get them on either of the other machines. I would say one of the great things about it is the fact that you do get six litres of beer and you do get, you know, um, ten and a half pints. When, when I first bought it, I thought that one of the first things I looked at was how long do, how long will a keg last once I put it in there? Because that six litres is a lot of beer. Trust me, it's very rare that you see the number on the front of the machine dip below 20, if I'm honest. When you crack one of these open, you will find you will drink more than you think you will. You'll spend more than you think you will. Um, <laughs> but it's good fun in the process. And I would say, talking about the kegs, one of the, the more negative sides is because it is quite a big keg and it's metal, it's storing them. I found that with the sub, you can load three or four or five different beers quite easy in a shelf in a fridge. It doesn't cause too much damage. Trying to put one keg in a fridge is, 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 takes up a bit of space, especially around Christmas time. Now, I ended up buying my own little fridge that I put them in. That was expensive. Um, it's a big bulky bit of kit to have in your house or your kitchen, wherever you're going to put it. So, um, but it's something else to bear in mind. Talk about the kegs as well. Um, I liked the fact when I first bought it that you could, with the Phillips Perfect Draft, you buy a beer, they deliver it in the metal keg, you put it in the machine, you drink it. When you're finished, you return the metal keg and you get £5 back. Bear in mind, they're pricing that £5 in anyway because there's a chance you may not return it. And one of the biggest things I found is that when I, I, when I first got the machine, the first time I finished about three, I'd done a return, and I had to go to a Collect Plus. I went to about three different shops before being turned away, because apparently they don't do Collect Plus, before finding someone that would take it. It was a bit of a jip. And I'm at the moment, I've got about 13, and this is almost finished, which will be about 14 in my shed, ready to return. So, I've, um, so on a plus side, I spoke to uh, Beerhawk, and Beth, who works there, fantastic. Not a problem, Adam. You package them up, shrink them up, because I didn't, have enough, I didn't keep the boxes. Stupidly didn't keep the boxes. Guys, top tip, when you get your beer delivered in the boxes, keep the boxes, because you're gonna need them to return them. The drivers at Yodel will not take them unless they're in a box, so I didn't know this. I had shrink wrap, spoke to head uh, Beer Hawk, they said to me, Adam, you know, let, wrap them up, shrink wrap them up, get them in packs of threes, get the paperwork, get the stickers on them, let me know and we'll arrange for collection. I'm in the process of doing that. That was about a week ago and I'm still packaging those up, but one of the, a fantastic thing from Beerhawk, I thought. I also thought as well, a positive with this machine, when you look at pricing, um, I'm pulling in the right direction, when you look at pricing for these beer machines, a sub's 100 quid, this is 200 quid, and a blade is 400 quid. But you do get a couple of kegs for that. 
and a load of glasses. So not bad deal really at the end of the day. But I like the fact this is middle of the road and I felt quite comfortable making the investment and uh, I haven't regretted spending the money. Spoiler on the rest of the video. Um, the other good thing with it as well is it's good fun. Um, pulling a pint, someone comes around and you know, sees a beer machine, they're like, how much beer does that hold? Does it keep it cold? Hey, try one. They're like, oh my God, this stuff's amazing. Because the beer, it is honestly like a draft pint. You know, um, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. I think a lot of people think that, like I did when I first looked buying a beer machine, I was like, it's expensive, there's a cheaper way to drink beer, but it's not the same beer. Um, you know, a lot of beer's brewed to be sat in a bottle, to, sat on a, to sit on a shelf of a supermarket, UV light breathing into it, and, it's, and the glasses, the bottles are dark coloured to try and protect it, but the beer is brewed different, and that stuff is mass produced. This stuff is brewed a bit different, like the Stella, it tastes different, I don't care what anyone says. Get a machine, get a bottle of Stella or a can, drink one next to each other, you'll realise difference is day and night. So, but the beer does taste good in these, out of these. I haven't, had a, I haven't got a blade, so I don't know, but I can only assume it's very similar to the sub. Bang it, bang it. And you can also have a bit of fun as well with the glasses, you know. Um, you can get the glasses, the beer that you're drinking, which is always good fun, you know, love that. I like being in a pub, to be honest. Mm. And I say, you know, carrying on with the beer, and the downsides this machine, there's no cider. Um, I'm not a massive cider drinker anyway, but I always think when you buy one of these machines, don't stick to lager if that's what you normally drink. Get a, get a keg of the of anything on there, something that's different, just trial it, because it does taste different. But there's no cider yet, they've been talking about it for a while. But on the flip side, again, they recently, recently brought out a stout on there as well, Dark Arts, meant to be pretty good, haven't had it yet, reviews look good. They bring out new beers and new stuff all the time, seasonal specials as well, the Oktoberfest stuff, yeah, you can't get that on the um, other machines, so bang in. Um, I would also say you can pimp your machines. There's all these different people on, uh, on uh, eBay and stuff now where you can get everything from a football team to a film to a program, your face, whatever you want on your machine. Someone, you know, you can get it, you can pimp it. And you get these great little, um, little buttons as well, magnetic that you can stick the top so you know what beer you've got in there, a bit geeky, I've got my bought one for every kick I've had in there to be honest. Um, yeah, you know, you just you jump on it don't you really, as soon as you get something new. Um, I'll tell you one of the downsides talking about the kegs and the beers is at the moment they seem to be quite short on kegs, so I've had a look myself and a few of the ones that I, I, I want to try or that are coming in, I haven't been on there. I think there's a number of reasons for that really, one is COVID-19 and pubs are shut and people are buying beer for home. Um, obviously more people are buying these machines and they're out, of, they're out of stock. But also Brexit, you know, what sort of impact is that going to have? A lot of the beer that we're drinking is coming from Europe, so we don't know if, there's, if the costs are going to increase on that. So I think that's going to be one to watch. But I think potentially with the stuff we're drinking, you know, I think that's going to catch on any of these beer machines, especially if it's foreign beers that you're enjoying. You know, not everyone wants to drink Carlin. Let's see if that comes on the Phillips Perfect Draft. Um, I think the last two is costs um, and the beer and it is, I, I would, you know, I think a lot of people have done reviews on these and said the same thing. Um, it's not cheap, you know, you're, you're going to be spending, you know, a good couple of quid a pint, but it's good beer, you know what I mean? It's like, it is pub worthy beer, but you don't have the environment to go with it. You are kind of sat in your kitchen or your home bar if you're lucky enough to have one, drinking it, you don't have it necessarily with your mate, especially in lockdown. That seems to be changing though. So fingers crossed, thumbs up, fingers crossed. But um, but yeah, I would say it's the cost, um, but there are ways that you can make it cheaper. And that's obviously buying more than one at a time. And there's new websites coming up now that are selling them as well. And also this is where it comes onto a positive. It's the Facebook group that they've got, Perfect Draft Kegs and Tips, which I don't think I'd have joined if it wasn't for the discount and, and it had been shouted about the very early days. But I've saved quite a lot of money on the beer orders that I've done. Definitely worth jumping on there, three kegs, 15% discount, and it's pretty good. And I would just say, look, last of all, it's a great little bit of kit to have um, because even when you are just sitting in, having a few beers, watching the football, have a draft pint, and um, you know, you don't have to go crazy on it. And I think that's the big thing is when you buy one of these, you know, I remember thinking to myself, <laughs> how long's the beer gonna last? Am I gonna end up chucking away empty kegs because it's gone out of date? Shock of year, guys, two things. You'll drink it faster than you think. And I've drunk a keg that was two months out of date and it was fine. There was no difference, it didn't taste any difference whatsoever. And I'm still alive, so it's not bad for you. So I think, look, 
to sum it all up, if I was going to say the good, the bads and the uglies, I think the goods outweigh the bads. Um, I genuinely think that the um, it's, it's a great machine to have and it's a great alternative to the sub. I always thought the sub was the was obviously it had the same beers that you could get on the blade, but it had a bigger range at the time. And I always thought to myself, if the blade catches up with the sub, the perfect draft, you know, potentially could be in trouble. Um, and I think that's the way it's going. There's a lot more now available um, for, for for the blade. So that's an interesting machine to watch. I think that could be potential purchase in the very near future so but listen this is a great machine if you're considering buying one jump on it you know I would say that beer hawks sell them and they normally do a little package as well so you can get a couple of kegs and some glasses and you can also now buy them in Costco's and places like that I think even some of like Aldi's have had them but I'd say the only bit you know just bear in mind that when you're looking to get the the kegs depending where you live in the UK you might have a local store where I am I'm kind of the middle of the UK 50 miles from London there's nowhere um, within a good 50, 60 mile radius. So the only place I can order them is online, which sucks a bit. But um, but honestly, look, great machine. Definitely recommend it. Um, and I think if you can, if you know someone that's got one, go and try a bite, go and try a beer from it. I think it will turn you and I think you'll go, do you know what? It's worth spending the outlay. And, um, you know, let's just get on it. But listen, thank you for watching. Um, please let me know if there's something that you think I may have missed or if you think that, you know, some comments that you want to add in here, please let me know. Um, but apart from that, we'll catch you on the next review. Got a good one coming up soon. We'll see you on the next video.